Did you hear that rattle at the end of the tunnel? Probably Willie do. He's got a lot of wires around him right now. Have you been lifting weights, by the way? Those calluses are out of control. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> we have an artistic laptop to look at today. You probably didn't think that laptops could be artistic but a lot of art's getting made on laptops. This might even be art. And this might even be made on a laptop. I'm talking about what you're watching right now. But you might be more modern than this here YouTube channel. You might be into making those new types of arts, like the NFTs and such. You might need a laptop for such things. It's quite possible. So that's where today's product comes into play. Pro art. You know what's better than art? Pro art. That's the type of art you get paid for because you're a professional. And I recommend that if you're good at something, you should get paid for it. It's a pro tip for you. Pro tip, pro art. Professional. This is the Studio Book 16. This is a thing now, uh, not just about gaming laptops, but you can have a laptop that is, is designed and targeted at creative types. Who are they? Well, maybe they are into video editing like we are. Maybe they're into music. Maybe they get phone calls all day long. This is such a fresh like vibe going on right now with the walls and everything. It looks amazing. I just wanted okay. to take the time to say that. I'm glad that we got that out there. Creative types need some horsepower because they're constantly creating things. Guys like Kirk, sometimes they shoot way too much resolution and those pixels have to go somewhere and you gotta do something. With them. If you're a guy like Mo, you might produce raw images and you might wanna uh, dive into those raw images so they can become cooked. <laughs> It's about the Pro Art Studio Book 16 today. Maybe you're a professional. Maybe you're a serious individual who does creative things. But on your downtime, you like to do a little bit of gaming. You probably got a GPU in here so you can handle that because you can't just work all the time. You gotta have some fun too. Okay, packaging, yes. Circular thing in the center, yes. Ah, pro art. And the thing is, sometimes you don't want your professional laptop, your high-powered laptop to be screaming at you. It can happen sometimes with the gaming stuff and maybe that is what you want, but it's nice to have options for those looking for a more understated look. This is a 16-inch laptop available in a variety of configurations. You can see here we have a matte black finish. And this is interesting. They're so committed to the pro art branding that they put it right on the lid. So everybody is gonna know what you're up to and that you're taking your creativity seriously. A USB type A, we have our power port, full size HDMI, two USB type C connectors, other side. We have an ethernet jack, another USB-A port, and a headphone jack. SD card slot is in there as well. Many have missed such things on certain laptops, which will remain unnamed, that have eliminated those types of ports. How can you have a creative laptop without an SD card slot? It's a must. <laughs> There's got to be a power brick, though. And power brick there is. Ooh, it's a big one, 240 watt. Oh, I smell RTX. Oh, look at that, GeForce RTX Studio. So it's part of the uh, studio lineup. It's also got Ryzen in there. What is it, 5000 series. Chiclet style keyboard. Oh, you probably noticed at this point something very unusual, this little jog wheel. If you've never heard of such things, 
then you've never been creative and it's time to just bounce right now actually don't bounce right now instead learn about how to jog on a wheel on a laptop Ooh, listen to that yes listen to the sound of my jog Woo! we are making things 32 gbs of ram RTX 3070, I presume you're gonna have a few different spec options. The display I'm curious about, what kind of tech are we looking at here? Did you just say 4K? Oh my. Did you just say Pantone in this video? Mm -hmm. OLED, 16 inch OLED, 4K. Ooh, HDR. Who's, who's camera? Can we appreciate vibrancy? Uh, you know at this point, you're gonna spend some money. You're gonna pay some money for this, all right? You're gonna spend some money because you're gonna make some money. Because you're gonna get really good at making things. You see how this goes? And then all of a sudden, it comes right back to you. Business expense. I'm not giving you business advice. Don't, that's, this is not the channel for that. Really what I want you to do is to sit back and relax. Yes, we can. Quick brown fox it, the quick. I like the big font on there. You also have a full size number pad over there, three buttons on the large track pad, some keys along top for, uh, you know, important functions, volume and such. But really, this is where things get fancy and special. And if you are in uh, creative software, then it can be mapped. And for example, in Photoshop, for some fine tuning and, and adjustments, rather than reaching up and having to change the size of a brush, for example, you can do so on the fly with your left hand, like this type of scenario. So I would have a mouse over here and then I would just amp up the brush size, eraser size, burn, dodge, etc., etc., without having to maneuver to that location. So it could save you time if you're inside of these applications quite frequently. Ooh, look at this, look at the dial settings, wow. So I can have the dial control, system volume, brightness, vertical scroll, which is kind of cool, I guess on a web page. What is on art.com? There's art on art.com. The home of art. System volume, system brightness, vertical scroll, and switch between open applications. I'm gonna click on vertical scroll. And check me out. Look at this. I'm looking at the artwork on art.com, just like a regular person, like anybody would do. Now, the obvious thing you can do with RTX is game, but chances are you're also gonna use this for content consumption. You have this tremendous 16 inch 4K OLED display. And it's not like everybody's got OLED displays at this point, so it can be a really nice place to watch a film. So apparently, Mo has shot a movie himself and he has put it inside of DaVinci Resolve. I presume it's something uh, on a similar level to like Scorsese or something like that. Oh man. What is this, 4K? Mm -hmm. 4K 60. 4K 60 and it's playing back in high quality and smooth. On the DaVinci timeline, the whole thing is obviously very soothing. Speakers, yeah, we'll take it. Four K sixty, no problem. I'm scrubbing. I'm watching. What's Kirk doing? Were you swimming there? It looks like you're sw you were swimming. Listen, man, you could be Mo doing this. Look at this. Responsiveness. 
it's not a problem. So. <laughs> Yeah, so there you have it. Pro art for the artists out there. But no, I mean, in all seriousness, anybody who wants some high horsepower computing, but maybe doesn't want the thing to be like overly styled. Hey, nothing against it. Some of those gaming laptops are cool, but here's an option for those that are looking for a little bit more stealth power. I mean, you could be across the way and nobody even knows what you're up to. They're like, I don't know. Dude's got a matte black laptop. You're like, yeah, it's got a little bit of RTX in it. It's got some 3070 in there. I play a video game every so often, every night, after I'm done my work, of course, my creative work, or my studio book, because I do pro art.